Hi folks, welcome to Greg's Workshop. I'm Greg and today we're going to build this. What is this, you might ask? Well, I have a three-year-old son, his name is Jack, and he loves two things, toy cars and tube slides. So why not build him a tube slide for his toy cars? Let's get started. We're going to start the project with these pieces. This is a two foot long piece of three inch ABS pipe, commonly known as DWV or drain vent and waste. We're also going to be using two 45 degree street elbows. A street L has a female side and a male side as opposed to a one with a two female side that you see more commonly. This is going to be important for the ramp. So we're going to go ahead and glue these pieces onto the pipe. We're just using some all purpose cement. You don't have to use a lot. This isn't going to be an actual plumbing fitting so we're not going to use a whole bunch. And what I'm doing is I'm being careful to line everything up. I'm getting this seam in line with the printing so that I can get the seam on this end in line with the printing as well going the opposite direction. There we go. Now we need to build the stand. I have that fitting tucked nice and tight into that corner to make sure everything is square. Measure down here, looks like the bottom of our stand needs to be at 19 and 3 8 inches. We want to make the base kind of wide to keep it stable. I think we'll go for uh, 10 inches. Measure up 19 and 3 8 That'll be the bottom of our curve. Use the square to find our 5 inch mark, which is going to be the center. So the curve will be something like that. I'll bring the sides up a little bit. We'll mark out our sides here. Top of where that's going to be. Come over there. This will all make a lot more sense once the lines are drawn. Next we're going to take our straight edge. We're going to connect some marks from the base all the way up here. We're going to make this mark long. I'm not quite sure how tall it's going to be. We'll just have to wait and see. Now we'll use the pipe to draw the cutout for our support. Last, we'll take our square and draw the top of the board. After we've cut out the main piece, we're going to take it over to the bandsaw. It's important to make these relief cuts first before you make the tight radius cut. That way that each piece can pop out and the blade won't get bound up. Now that we have our stand cut, we can do a dry fit. You can see it works pretty well. It's uh, not stable, it's not attached at all, so we're going to have to figure out a way to put a stretcher or a foot down here to give it some rigidity. I have the stand tucked into the corner here to keep it stable. I've got my square pushed up nice and tight. I'm going to measure along here, just about to the bottom of the pipe. Looks like about 21 inches. I'm going to measure up the side 21 inches. Come down to the base. We're going to make this about 6 inches wide. This is the part that will attach to the upright. And then it's going to taper down with a cutout for the pipe. So we have our dry fit done. We've got the square again to make sure that everything is square. 
I've got centering marks right down here. So the center of this piece and the center of this piece match up so it's evenly spaced. I'll set the pipe in. Let's see what it looks like. Looks like we'll need to make a little bit of a cut to allow the pipe to sit down. Somewhere around there and there. I've made a mark on the outside edge, a corresponding mark on the other side, and what looked like the back. This curve doesn't have to be exact, it's just so that the pipe will fit in there and won't slide sideways. So I'm just going to freehand it. I didn't like the way my freehand looked, so I went ahead and drew a new line using the base of the glue bottle. Moment of truth. That looks pretty good. I'm going to have to cut out a gusset to go here to keep it all square, and then we'll screw it together. Before we do our assembly, we're going to round over the edges. I have a 3 16 inch radius round over bit here with the ball bearing. The fence is set back just slightly from the ball bearing so that we still get good suction for the vacuum, but we have enough room to maneuver the piece. We're going to be joining the bottom to the back using pocket screws. We're also going to be using pocket screws to secure the back and the bottom to the gusset. We're going to use this step drill bit to drill out holes and countersink the heads. Now that we've drilled and countersunk the holes for the base and the upright, I have this temporarily assembled so that we can mark the locations of the holes here so that we can pre-drill. We have all our parts cut. Now it's time to do the assembly. And here it is, the completed tube slide. Let's take it inside and see how Jack likes it.
Folks, thanks for coming along while I built this tube slide for my son. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell so you get notified of new videos every Saturday morning, leave a comment, I promise I'll respond, and I'll see you next week on Greg's Workshop.